What's up guys, it's Justin Mark. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to meet girls if you're shy, how to meet beautiful women if you lack social skills, how to make friends when you're a guy who has social anxiety, you're stuck in your head. As you go about your day, you're running around meeting people, but you're not meeting people because you're shy. You're in public and you wanna meet people, but you're shy. Maybe it's even to the point where you go to bars, nightclubs, social environments, and you just struggle to meet people of the opposite gender. You struggle to meet friends, whether it be guys or girls, and you're struggling socially. So in this video, we're gonna jump in and talk about it right now. So one thing that's really interesting is a lot of guys think girls won't like you if you're shy. A lot of people look at my content and they think, wow, this guy's so confident, so charismatic. A lot of people don't realize I have horrible social anxiety. However, what I do is I constantly lean on the edge of my comfort zone. I'm constantly pushing past my edge so I can be social. My entire life I had social anxiety. Yet I've traveled to 50 plus countries, met tons of beautiful women uh, from cold approach, social circle, uh, online, things like Tinder, dating apps, etc., And I'm constantly taking action, pushing past my comfort zone so that I can actually meet beautiful women. And it really comes down to pushing past your anxiety, okay? Because even though you have this anxiety, it's really just an evolutionary pressure telling you that this situation counts. This situation is a very important situation. And once you can push past that fear, push past your comfort zone, What's crazy is a lot of people will actually be able to subconsciously recognize it. Because what's more attractive to a woman? A man who's just naturally confident or a man who's shy and nervous but pushing past his edge? To a woman, that actually shows a lot of high value and high status behavior. Because if you get pushed past your edge, you make a good candidate for a long-term partner. A lot of guys don't realize that. So just by pushing your comfort zone, by pushing past those fears, those insecurities, that nervousness, that emotions holding you back, you're actually gonna be able to experience a ton, whether it be new friends, maybe a future intimate partner, uh, maybe just a bunch of short-term fun experiences, if you know what I'm saying. And so you want to constantly push past your comfort zone, push past your edge. So another thing is a lot of girls actually like guys who are shy. A lot of girls love guys who are shy. Think about this. Why would Stacy want to date Chad the douchebag when she could date, you know, Michael, the nice, friendly, happy-go-lucky, charming gentleman who's a little bit shy, but also very respectful and also a very cool guy, right? As an individual, you probably have a ton of life experience, a ton of value to offer the world that is unique to you, that nobody else could offer. Seriously, you, you really could do it. Think about all the life experience you have. Think about all the skills you have. Think about all the things that are unique to your personality, unique about you that you don't know anyone else who has those characteristics or qualities. There's probably at least a few things that come up top of your fucking head, but there's probably a lot more if you were to really think about it. So a lot of women actually do like guys who are shy because you are a good candidate for a long-term dating partner. You are a good candidate for someone in their life to be a supportive man or just a good friend or whatever it is that you could be. And so by being shy, you are actually, in a weird way, high value. But here's the problem. A lot of girls will never meet you. A lot of people will never meet you because you're shy, because you're not going out of your way to meet these people. You're not going out of your comfort zone to say hi to the stranger in the park. You're not going out of your way to go to parties, go to social events because you have that social anxiety plaguing you or you have this nervousness that's holding you back in certain situations. Now, here's the truth. Everybody has it. Some of my friends are some of the biggest influencers in the world. Even they have social anxiety at times. I'll go to parties and events with them and they're kind of nervous, but they'll be nervous about other things. They're scared to approach a girl because they don't want to affect their social reputation. Uh, maybe some of my friends who are high level dating coaches who are supposed to have these amazing social skills, they're nervous to go approach girls because they don't want their students or someone in their audience to see them fail, right? And so we all have different layers or different experiences of this anxiety that holds us back. But by actually going out, by actually doing it, 
by actually pushing yourself, by actually getting out of your comfort zone, what you can ensure is that you're going to be meeting people. You will be being social. You will be speaking to new people, speaking to strangers, making new friends. And then you can make the executive decision to bring these people into your life potentially. And it's crazy because if I look at a lot of my male friends, a lot of my best friends, I met them from Cold Approach. I met them on the streets. One of my best friends I actually live with right now, I met him in my college gym. I walked up to him, told him that fist bumped, I like how he's working out and then invited him to a frat party. We've been friends for seven years. One of my best friends, his name's Nicholas. He came up to me on the street. I thought he was weird, but after he talked to me for a while, we became really good fucking friends, right? So a lot of my closest friends, I literally just met out in public. Girls and guys, most of my ex-girlfriends. I met them at parties, different events, daytime venues. Uh, literally, in a, I, I met a recent ex-girlfriend in a park just like this, right? So you can literally meet people everywhere you go as long as you push your comfort zone and actually speak to people and meet new people. But you gotta let go of being shy even for that moment, even for that few hours when you're in that social environment so you can meet people. So you never know who you're gonna meet from being social. And because of that, it is in your best interest to continue being social because just imagine this, the more you increase your soul skills and your confidence, the more connections you have, the more opportunities you can create. From things from your career, your living situation, your friendships, your intimate relationships, the people around you, the experiences you could have, it is endless. You have endless opportunities and when you get in that habit of being constantly social, you're gonna be constantly meeting people. And look, it's coronavirus times, uh, it's fucking winter here in Canada, and it's still awesome because literally right now as we're filming this video, down the street, I have a beautiful girl in my bed. Now, I met her from online dating, right? Last week, I met a beautiful girl during the daytime, and we had some fun times, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, it's crazy, because like, even years later, I'll have random girls call me up in the middle of the night and be like, hey, I'm coming over. The other day I had uh, my friend Valerie and her friend Laura call me in the middle of the night, 4 and 30 in the morning, I'm up. And uh, they say, we're coming over. And they come over and we have a little party and uh, some fun magical adventures, right? So it's crazy how many amazing experiences you can actually have by being social and the connections you can make, the friendships you can make that last literally years and years and years and years of your life. Because your quality of life will be directly correlated with the people around you. Your quality of life, your happiness, is determined by the people you know in your life. Your happiness is determined by the people around you. And that's just how fucking things work. Like, you could be in a beautiful beach in the side of the world, in the fucking Maldives or whatever. If you don't have amazing people with you, people you vibe with, you're happy with, you're not gonna be happy, and that's just how it works. So you need to make sure you have good people around you, great support system, good friends, and uh, you know, even intimate partners, people you can have fun with, people you can have these amazing intimate experiences with as well. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, and guys, make sure to follow me right now on all social media, linked in the description on the bottom of the screen, and also, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the thumbs up, and click the bell notification when you click subscribe, so you're notified of new videos. And guys, I would just urge you to go out, meet people, be social, be confident, become more charismatic, even if you are shy. Because here's the thing, you might be the coolest fucking guy in the world. You might be a man who has tons of value to offer. And this could be in your career, this could be with making money, this could be with selling yourself and selling your value to others, this could be in relationships, friendships, could be anything. But because you're not putting yourself out there, because you're not being confident and charismatic and going for what you want, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot because you're not, nobody's gonna know who you are. You're gonna be like an NPC. Walking around, nobody even notices you, right? You're gonna be the guy who doesn't have any sort of attention on him and then you don't get the value that you're giving the world back, right? You're not giving your value enough to the world because you're not stepping out of your comfort zone. So you don't have these opportunities that arise. So you need to start seeing opportunities wherever they are. And if you think about it, right, to live, is to be social. We come from tribes of people. To be social is to fucking live. So as you go out, as you go about your day, try to be social, try to talk with strangers, try to have one new conversation a day, two new conversations a day. I try to have five new conversations a day with new people, and that way you're always in a constant state of growth. You're always in a constant state of 
growing your charisma, expressing yourself, improving your social skills, and meeting new people. And then you can constantly make new, new friends, meet new people, build new connections, make new opportunities, and constantly grow to live a better, happier, more positive life. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll see you guys in the next video.